Good morning, everyone. Alyssa Corum and Ed Carson here with your market update on this Wednesday, October 10th. On today's show, we are taking a look at NVIDIA, Autodesk, and CSX. A lot of uh, interesting technical action happening today, so we will break that all down for you after we take a look at the major indexes. The market sell-off is continuing. The Nasdaq is down about 1.4%, while the S&P 500 and uh, the Dow are both down 9 tenths of a percent. So uh, S&P breaching key support at the 50-day line, as well as a lot of leading stocks. Yeah, I mean, the S&P 500 has been sort of testing that 50-day line. The Nasdaq did that last week, and it's, right. that's much further down. But it really looks like today is the day when the S&P is coming through. A lot of names, a lot of growth names, even some growth names that have been doing reasonably well. They're really struggling. It's just one of those days, it's like the market is continuing under pressure, and so investors should be very cautious about the current conditions right now. Uh, this is the time you should be paying attention. How are the leading averages, major averages and leading stocks going? And that's why you, know, you should be reading the big picture. Exactly. Every day. And it's IBD free access week. So everyone can read the big picture, uh, no credit card required. So that is always a good thing. So uh, it turns out to be a, a good week for free access week because investors really need to be dialed into what's going on. Absolutely. More than ever. All right. Well, let's take a look at Autodesk, uh, a leading software name. Extending losses today down about 4.3% in heavy volume after breaching its 50 day line in Tuesday's session. And it was building a base, but uh, has that base pattern uh, almost been ruined, I guess you could say, at this point? Yeah, and it sort of had like it had a part, it was a base on base, and we had a prior breakout, and that sort of round tripped, if you want to consider it there. So, you know, you almost say that, that old buy point was violated. So if you had bought it off of that, you should have sold out, you know, by yesterday and certainly today. It's just ugly. Software stocks mm -hmm. are just really, you know, they were the top sector. They are really right. down hard. Uh, this one is in the design software group, but the enterprise software group was down 10% through yesterday, and it is down more now. Uh, it's really been, you know, like, really a situation. Often leading stocks take it, take it harder in when the market pulls back because they've been running up and because there's so much optimism, mm -hmm. and that optimism can turn to fear pretty quickly. It's just a situation, it's not a guarantee. Yeah, they've been doing well, but you have to be paying attention. Exactly, and that's right. As you mentioned, software, the leading sector this year, so seeing a breakdown in the leading group uh, is, is definitely a signal for what's happening more broadly. If you're not seeing those leading names hold up. Yeah, absolutely. All right, and taking a look at NVIDIA, that stock is below its 50-day line as well. Uh, a couple weeks ago, um, it had, or I guess months ago and now at this point, it yeah. had tried to break out, but it's now uh, below it, not only the buy point, but the 50-day line, and it's now uh, over 5% below that level, so sell territory. Yeah, it's just like, and it really never broke out that well. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's 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 had a big run. The stock is not doing great anymore. I mean, it's it sort of it was treading water versus the S&P 500. The chip right. stocks overall just look terrible. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, like AMD, yeah, it's doing okay. It's trying to hold its 50-day line. NVIDIA was one of the last ones. But really, again, sort of like the software, it's hard to fight a sector move. It's hard to fight the market. And right now, growth stocks, chip stocks, software stocks, they are all down pretty sharply. This one just seems to be losing touch with the 50-day line a little bit. And it is, yeah, getting really towards definite sell area. Right. Investors should be thinking about cutting losses quicker quicker mm -hmm. in this kind of environment. You know, it's been going through the 50-day. It doesn't seem to have a lot of momentum going higher, you know, and nothing else in the market either. That's right. And uh, on the show in the past, you've mentioned how important for a bull market or, you know, the rally in the NASDAQ it is to have participation from the chips and software. So um, interesting action here today from two leading names out of those groups. Absolutely. All right. And last but not least, we want to take a look at a 
rail name. We don't typically talk about a lot of rail stocks here, yeah. uh, but uh, they had been holding up amid the sell-off, but uh, that's looking like the tide is turning a little bit. We have leading name out of that group, CSX, breaching support at its 50-day line mm -hmm. uh, a little bit before its earnings report here. Now, this had been a name that was really holding up um, before today, but now it's it too has fallen below its 50-day. Yeah, last week the rail group was the only group in the top 25 to actually post a gain. It's like, ah, here we go. I'm gonna, mm -hmm. you, know, you can think of as an investor, I, I wanna get into this group. And you know, that's certainly something to be looking at, but it shows you here is situation, it's the stock is acting well, the group is acting well, but you know, they can crumble. I mean, it can be a situation, it's like, is it the last one to fall? It's like, uh, you know, maybe, you know, so it's, it's something why you don't want to buy ahead of this breakout. It's like, oh, I'll jump into it. And well, it wasn't the right time to buy anyway, and the market conditions are poor. You know, maybe this will do okay later on, but right now, the rail stocks and all of them in mm -hmm. general, you mm -hmm. know, are, are struggling today. It's just not a good market. That's right. So with the market conditions as they are, uh, there's a couple of key things for investors to do. Like we mentioned earlier, you want to be looking not only at the action around key support levels, but also cutting your losses more quickly, um, not making new buys, avoiding making new buys in this kind of environment. Absolutely. It's just something to be very cautious. You know, it's like, you don't say, well, I want to go on a picnic. It's like, well, if it's raining or it's about to rain, you don't go on that picnic. Mm -hmm. That's right. And for more details on how to handle your portfolio and action among leading stocks, make sure to head to investors.com and check out all of our premium features for free this week. And you can also check our content out across social media. Not only are we on YouTube and Facebook, but also Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching, everyone. We will see you right back here tomorrow.